Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, with another light novel review from Yen Press. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, with another light novel review. First of all, this is brought to you by Yen Press. Uh, they sent me a copy for me to give my honest opinions on this uh, light novel. So thank you so much for them. Check them out on their website. Uh, they have different places where they sell their content. This specifically is from their branch, Yen On, which is where their light novels come from. Uh, there is a link in the description below where you guys can buy cheap anime, manga, light novels. Yen Press stuff is in there, so make sure you check it out. Okay, before anything else, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing as well. Uh, that helps me, but also you impress. So spread the word on this series. It's a very cute, cute series, and really, it's um, light novel, not volume based. It's only one, so there's nothing beyond this one really. So uh, I want to clarify that. Okay, let's start with the review first. This is hard covered, so um, it comes with the sleeve, and the actual book is just blue, and it has that. So. You can either keep it like that, which uh, Yen On has been very uniform when it comes to this type of light novel. I'll explain what it is. Uh, keeping it looking like this. So, um, light novels come in, I guess, three different ways. Uh, first, they're brand new series. Uh, most of the time, um, they, they're from Japan. There's like eight, eight, ten uh, volumes out, and we're, we start releasing them here as well. But they're just brand new series. Uh, out of nowhere, which eventually inspire mangas, and then eventually they inspire animes. Or sometimes they inspire animes and then eventually mangas. There's light novels that come from mangas or animes that have already been created and they just never release a light novel. So they release a light novel to include more beyond the story that you have already seen or read through a manga. And then there's these type of light novels, which come directly from movies. They release a movie, the movie does really well, and because the movie does really well, then they released a, uh, a light novel, again, giving us more in-depth of the story. So, um, this one in particular is a live-action uh, movie it's not a you know anime style so it is coming from this uh, movie if you heard of it even if this love disappears tonight uh, this is the light novel behind it so um, again it comes afterwards so they try to be true to the story that you've seen already all they're doing is they're adding to what you've seen so um, in general you have two main characters you have a boy and a girl it is a type of romance series and you have um kamiya who is the protagonist and he's being mocked by his classmates um about his love life so he does this fake confession to a girl that is in a different class uh called hino now um hino it she knows about the whole thing. So um, she knows it's a lie. So they kind of make up rules so that they can kind of, you know, uh, lie to these people and make it beneficial for both of them. One is they're going to keep the communication they have brief. And it's only, I'm oh, sorry, and the second rule is that they're going to only talk after school. So not during class and stuff like that. And then lastly is that they cannot fall in love with each other, which that already throws, oh, this is going to be a romance. Well, um, the two promise not to fall in love, and that's basically what it is. Um, but they do get to know each other a little bit more, and they do kind of become friends, and even more beyond that. Uh, but there is an unexpected twist at the beginning, or the towards the beginning, and that is that uh, Miss Hino, she has, um, oh gosh, they had a specific word for it. it it's it's amnesia, it's essentially, but she forgets every day, basically. So every day is a reset for her. Now, um, one thing that I liked about this particular um, story is that they kind of, at some point, go into depth 
into how all it works and it's not just oh i have this and you have to believe me um no they actually go into debt and you know if i hadn't seen it was 50 first dates um i would have said oh this is a whole new invented disease but it really is not i guess i guess it's had happened to some people um but essentially you have two type of memories you have the memory that is purely information like people's names uh places um um i mean science history i mean all that is information and then you got muscle memory like how to brush your teeth or uh, how to walk how to talk um there's a lot of stuff like that that is not affected so the informational part of your brain is affected but not the kind of like the muscle brain that you developed as you grow up um so what she does at every night is she writes her days so that the next morning when she wakes up early before anyone she goes through her journal and she understands what's happening in her life so it's really a gosh it's a kind of like a dagger romance because you want them to be together and it's just it's it's not gonna happen or it's almost impossible for it to happen and it's it's definitely you know heartbreaking for all that too to be a thing that's going on so um there is a lot of side characters not a lot but quite a few side characters that have kind of like their own um part of the story and own struggles as well um but the so so the story does not only focus on the romance not only focus on he knows like struggle in life and stuff like that but there is a little bit more other than that so um i've read 70 percent of this 79 percent of this and almost every single review that i have i have seen which is not many to be honest um talk about a big twist coming up and by by page that i'm in i haven't i guess reached that um but i feel like i know what the twist is i'm not gonna say it but there is a big twist at the end that a lot of people have mentioned i haven't seen the movie myself so i'm going into it as a new person um so i am a little curious to see what happens so i am going to finish this one for sure um yeah so that's overall this this story if you're looking for a romance that has all those little parts and pieces this is one you want to read um i'm i'm torn to to say this is really good because it's obviously coming from a story and and again the light novel wasn't the primary source so it's almost like they're given a second chance to fix the story if they want to. So, having seen the movie, I want to see the movie. Um, r- uh, rarely you have a book and then a movie that's inspired by a book. The movie's always the worst, right? The book is always better. But rarely you have a movie and then a book. And so you you kind of have this, like, is the movie better or is the book better? And I'm I'm curious if things were changed, like uh, how things happen, the chronological order of the story, maybe, and, you know, just all that. So I'm going to look it up, see if I can find it here in the U.S. and see it myself. But it's a great, great story. Uh, go check it out, especially if you're into romance and those type of movies. Recommend it. So give some love to Yen Press and Yen On. Go buy it. Again, there's a link in the description below. Thank you so much for the love and support that you do show this channel. And guys, like always. Don't be strangers. See you guys.